Hello there, people. This is Mr. Echo 58. Hey, Henry. Bring you some more Firewatch Part 3. What do you look like? Why are you asking? What? Because I'm horribly superficial. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh-huh. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know? I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... <laughs> Uh, a lot of thick beard. Beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing Man, you. she's nosy. No. You're what? Is is that okay? Uh. Don't <laughs> don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Uh, they're happy. Happy eyes. Yeah, I've been told they look happy. Aw. Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Bye-bye, Delilah. Why, 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 Delilah? Dun -dun 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 -dun. Right, it's uh, loads of stuff all over the place here, isn't there? Well, that's where Delilah hangs out, that's her tower. I would say to her, I think I've got to go fix up these boards after the place the tower was vandalized and also the wires. Um, up in the uh, on the north of the area were cut, which makes communications elsewhere very hard. Let's go board up those windows, shall we? Let's get some wood. Touch wood. Ah, there we go. One plank. Can I jump over here? There we go. Hmm, no planks in here. I can't pick up this one from in here, I don't think. Yes, I can. Just here, just for good measure. Well, this is a beautiful area and everything, you know, but, uh, out in the country and taking the fresh air and, uh, and the scenery. Yeah, a few days of this would be okay. Anything more, I'd be crying for back to the uh, city life. Right, let's get this lot sorted. Out comes my magic hammer. My state of decay hammer, I call it. For broken windows. Job done. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? 
What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Thank you very much, Delilah. Don't quite like the idea of her being able to see me 24-7, no curtains anywhere. Up in our little ivory tower, past my smelly socks. Where is she again? She's up there, isn't she? In our ivory tower. Man, this place is a mess. Birds of Wyoming, the Patriot. Oh, what is? Death strikes at two. Go away from me. All right. I'm okay. I'm ready. I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. Comfy sure chair. Depends on you. Day nine. Phone's going off twenty four seven. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Not too yeah, man. bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? <laughs> Yeah, it's a very long day, 15. Henry, Henry, wake up. Who waking me up this hour? Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Okay. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Oh, it's Julia. Hi, Jules. His missus. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? Man, he sounds very apprehensive, doesn't he? Henry. Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. Sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Goodness, he must be tired. Day 33. I think I can only take so much of the outdoors. Be like radiation. After a bit, it'll kill me off. Is 
Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade Ooh, of bully for you. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find sure the supply is. drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff there. I hear you. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes. Ooh, how a lovely. Six. She's like really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Wheelbarrows, you say, of marijuana. Marijuana. Hey, so. Who's Jules? Boy, oh boy. Here we go. I, I don't mean to pry. It's just, um... How do you know that name? I haven't said anything about Julia. Julia's prime. Um... Wait, is there something going on that I don't know about? <laughs> what? No. Look, a couple of weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night, and... You, you were talking in your sleep, I guess. I only heard the name Julia, so I figured I'd ask. <sighs> really? <sighs> no. I really don't want to talk about her, all right? Jeez, must have been a real fuck up. What did I just say? Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I. <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School and. I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And <sighs> for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. So, <laughs> I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart. Just Delilah, like you're something else. told me anything about you, and that's okay. But, uh, there you go. You're sharing your story. About me. Good for you. <laughs> Still ain't gonna tell you. Right, what goodies have we got? Maybe a bottle of rum if I'm lucky. Or two. So, these are the food for the various towers and the like. So it's yours, right? Who do you think I am? Day 64. Don't know if I would last that so long out in these uh, environment. Ooh, what's this? For what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Hmm. Uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. <laughs> I was kidding. Mm, no, you were not. You're sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah Fire. Okay, what then? Mm, how about my middle name, June? The June Fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> I like it. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um... 
you know what my favorite thing to do is? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then on nights like today, now you're teasing. So disgustingly hot. I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You would like it there. Alcohol. Give me alcohol. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. You're here. I hear you. I'll be polite and civilized. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. Why? I look forward talking to you, even if you don't feel comfortable opening up. You always can. Take the hint. Over there. I'll be polite. I wish you were too. <sighs> we could sit outside. We could talk about these radios. We could, um, you know. I think Delilah's taken a liking to my character. What? what? I'm a married man, you know. Well. Day 76. This beard must be getting longer. Ooh, looks like I'm going fishing. Fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I oh, thanks, Bill. reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning what? fire lines out to the east, and um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Huh. Problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on. Please. Exactly. Ugh. Can't believe Ain't gonna happen. Planet as a pile of bear shit. Anyhow, people, my batteries are low. Henry. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be cutting out of this one. This is Mr. Echo58 signing off for now. Later.